All right. So cerulean blue and white. Let's mix them. Doesn't matter what, uh, you know, light, dark, medium tone to light. And I'm going to start with this side here, this side. Now overlap a bit with the tree, just a tiny bit. So there's no gaps. Uh, I, we might need to do another layer. Now what I can do at this point is introduce red, um, red, yellow, cadmium, yellow light. Because the trees in the back, in the background are really light. Uh, the summery kind of green. So for a summery color green, uh, sodium blue and yellow, cadmium yellow light. That will give me a really nice, light to be I'll just introduce this so it's ah. if I want it to be darker I can add more uh cerulean blue to my yellow and it makes it a tiny bit dark I'm going to be, I, I have a feeling we're going to be adding more, more uh, another layer of blue. Now, I'm gonna come down here. This is this. This this is not a good green. For the bottom part, for the bottom part, this green is too bluish. So I'm gonna use sap. Sap green. Oh, that's better.
There's a lot of green in this project. Different kind of different kind of uh, uh, greens, which is nice. I'm gonna add a bit of cerulean in this area. Oops. So this tree, I think, is going to come over to the edge of the uh, canvas. So I don't have to, well, I can connect them a bit. I'm using sap green now and yellow. I'm just kind of soften this transition. Okay, I'm going to add to some sap green and yellow. On the dark side. Yeah, make it dark. And then now I can highlight it a bit with more yellow. So I'm picking up yellow, the corner of my brush, and just adding a couple of brush strokes. Or was she? I'm going to do the same on this side and then I'm going to stop. Pause a bit. So I'm going to look at the reference and I'm seeing kind of more highlighted trees in the back here. So that's me, the blue in here with my green. Putting a hint of different trees in the back and different greens behind the tree. Now I'm going to highlight more, more yellow. This is that it, it's okay up till now. I would like to put yellow ochre in this, but eventually I'll do it later on. I'll do that. I'll put some yellow ochre in it. And I have a nice background now. I'll wait for it to dry and then I'll adjust the colors. Take some white, mix some white with sap green. So less yellow and blue. Sap green, 
some ceridium blue and white. White instead of yellow. I'm just gonna kind of highlight a bit. Okay. With the corner of my brush. Just give it some shape. So um, cadmium, yellow, medium, raw umber, ultramarine, violet, and white. So we mix them together and uh, we're getting kind of a taupey color. It doesn't matter what, uh, if it's leaning more towards the yellow or the purple, it's just the first layer. Actually, I would like to see more purple in there, I think, because we were planning to do a, uh, more of a yellow house in the original reference the house is white there's no yellow in there but I think a bit of yellow in there would look nice instead of just white um, maybe even Naples yellow we will use Naples yellow so now I'm just going to put where the I see the walls And I see, I'm, I'm making sure that I see some of that purple in there, mm -hmm. ultramarine violet in there, more than the yellow. Oh, yeah. That's looking kind of gray for me. So yeah, it's supposed yeah. to be like, it's, yeah, yes. okay. Yeah. So I need more oh, violet. Like grayish. Yeah. Okay. So you mean on the screen? Yes. Yes. Not what you're, you are um, mixing. No, on the screen, it looks yeah, quite gray. Yeah. That's fine. Honestly, this is just the first layer just to get something going underneath that yellow, eventually, the yellow that we're going to use. And I think, um, I think I'm going to, we might use, um, Naples yellow for the highlights because it's soft. It's softer than yellow, just the yellow. But this just kind of gives us a good base for the color of the house. I'm going to simplify. There's, there are a lot of um, kind of uh, frame and, and wood, and I, 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 I'm going to simplify all of that. It's too much. Let's put this in. I know I'm painting over the railing, but that's okay. I can put it back. I can put the railing back. It's not, um, I can still see a bit. So it should be okay. Let's 
Whenever I see too much green in there, I uh, I add purple. Okay, that's good. Now for the chimney, I'm just gonna take the same color and add more white, just a lot more white. That's for the chimney part. Because I'm gonna put brick over this. I'm gonna put some brick color. So we need that first layer of light. And also add more white, the same color. This acrylic draws darker anyway. And let's do this. Okay. All right. Oh, we can do at the same time. Since we're working on this, we can take raw umber, ultramarine violet, and white. This is a good color, base color for the trims and the windows. Okay, <laughs> this is actually a very nice color for the trim. Very good color. This window goes down on this dot. It's raw umber, ultramarine violet, and white. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm using this three. Brown brush. Okay, let's darken more with 
ultramarine violets and bar amber. Just make a, a little bit of a, a little bit more of a darker tone. Yeah. I'll put it right here. Stop with this. Right there. Let's go back to the color I was using for the trims. We're going to go over this one more time anyway. So first one, one layer is not enough. Sure, if we need to worry about this dark, uh, uh, those slats in the window for now, because we're going to, you know, put the inside, the darker part of the panel inside. So for now, we can we can put a bit. Make another batch of colors here in the white. You can do all of the trims of the windows and the door. I'm starting to see something. I know there's no ledge on this window, but I'm going to put one. Okay. 
and I can adjust it later on. Now, let's do that. Let's put this rating that I lost. Again. The bottom part. So this is the first layer because I have to put the door. If I don't put the door and I do the railing um, or this detail, it's going to be hard. So I'm going to put this for now initially, and then I'm going to put the door behind, and then I'll finish that detail, wooden detail, in front of the door. Okay, now again, right here. I mean, putting this beautiful detail on the, the house makes a big difference. And I'm assuming that the bottom part of this section here is down here is concrete. So. Fishing bits. Where are those little Another column. Nice. Little detail for the bottom. Bottom of the column. So we're not going to finish this. Uh, we have to finish the house first, and then we'll do the. the <laughs> We'll work on this side, on this part. Okay, so changing color of the house uh, for the base color instead of using this combination of ultramarine violet, cadmium yellow medium, raw umber, and white, we decided to go with. Naples yellow and ultramarine violet for the first layer. I know it's double the work, but it's going to look much better because eventually uh, we're going to be using uh, a yellow color for the wall. Um, most probably Naples yellow. So this is a good base and I've changed all of the colors in the, for the house, I changed them all to Naples yellow and ultramarine um, violet.
that's much, much better as a base color. Really much nicer as a base color. Love that. I really like it. Okay, good. So this is done. We're good. So it, it has to be, it, it should look a bit more on the purple side. So when you mix the Naples yellow and the ultramarine um, violet, it's better if it's more on the purple side, not the yellow side. This needs to look, you know, this is, this is in a shadow area. All of this is in a shadow area. So it needs, it, it would look nicer with purple in there instead of yellow. More purple than yellow. All right, and that's it.